Hi, my name is Dunbar. Now I'm going to give a little instruction of how to start with Flash. With Flash, you've got several options. One is to start with just the flash on the camera. This is the flash on the camera, and you don't have very many options with that. So I'll take a photo with that just now, and we'll see how it looks. Now, as you can see, it gave me big kind of shadows underneath my ears, and it didn't look very, very cool. So what you really need to get is a second flash. An additional, for me, I am going to start with the Nikon, Nikon SB900. And I'll give you some ideas of what to do with this. With Nikon, you have a thing called CLS, Creative Lighting System, which is what this camera, which even with the Fuji S5, on D300, D700, D80, and this and the SB800 and all that kind of stuff, um, is able to cooperate. Is that all the details of how powerful the flash is encoded in the flash that comes from the actual camera, from there. So that gives out maybe a whole pile of details in its initial flash, which is like a hundredth of a second, and then a hundredth of a second later, it tells you, tells all the other lenses when to take a flash. So with this, you don't need to really do anything else. Anything else. So I'm going to attach this to a stand. This a cold shoe. This is the flash in the flash stand. On the back of the flash, we need to, if we can go down here, let's see if we focus. Put it onto remote. Here's the remote, and we've made it so that it's uh, group A. Channel one, which is what the camera is at, and flash. We're not 200 millimeters away, so we'll click on zoom and make it a little bit less. Let's say 24. I've also set up the camera so that it will take it at a 120th of a second and at f 5.6. So if I hold this on, let's see how this works. So that gives quite a cool image. Um, it's got a massive shadow out to the side, and that's because we're using one light. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can work with that. First thing is by putting an umbrella on it. Now, with an umbrella, what we usually want it to do is so that A, the flash is facing into the umbrella, like this. There's the camera there and having it at roughly 40 degrees to the person. So, if that's the camera there, I'm going to be standing there, flashes at 45 degrees. Again, let's see how this photo looks. So, the great thing about this is that there's no shadow behind me at all. This flash up there and with the camera being here, has given me a, a lovely, beautiful look uh, without having any shadow hitting the wall there. Now there's another thing you can do with the flash like this, is that you can actually make it a shoot-through umbrella. For that, I need to take off bits of the umbrella. So now, I've taken off the, the back of the umbrella, so now it's actually see through so you can actually see my hand going through now for this we actually need to turn the light the flash round so that it's facing me but again you want it above us 45 degrees facing down towards us so i'll just sort that out okay so now set it up so the camera's here flash is there and i'm over here same power as what it was let's see how it works this time as you can see it gives a lovely nice smooth flat light all over my face, even though it's pretty much right in front of me, but it works really, really well. And that's the, the power of an umbrella. It has the same effect as a softbox, but I would say an umbrella is probably a little bit better when it's a shoot-through umbrella. And it gives you nice bits in your eyes, which I'll show you here. Cheers. Thanks a lot.